Hello and welcome to my 8th Java tutorial and in this tutorial I'm gonna go in depth of the while loops. In my previous video I skimmed through them with their theory and what they do but I didn't exactly show you in depth what they actually do and code and show you the code and show you what happens when you run it. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this tutorial so yeah, let's go into our IDE. Okay, so we are in our IDE right now, and uh, you should have this basic uh, layout where I told you a long time ago, like first tutorial or something. And yeah, just keep this, okay? So what we're gonna do is while loops, okay? First thing you do is type while, okay? Then you type in your brackets. Then you type in what exactly do you want to test for? Like, what, like, what do you want to meet the requirements that you want to loop through this loop? So, I would say x is smaller than zero. And I first have to declare x, remember. Declare integers. x into x. Okay. Okay, I'll set this to, uh, 10. Okay. Okay, and let's set this to 30. No, I'll set this to 0. Okay, so we did a while x is 30. Okay, so if this is true, then execute the code inside. Okay, wait, I forgot to tell you something. Okay, when you want to put code, you can always just do this. You can put system dot out dot print line and then hello buddies and it will run the code under it however when you have multiple while loops it's gonna get extremely confusing so it's best to put this inside what these brackets mean are block of code so basically when this meets its requirement it will run this line of code and when you run this lines of code, it will run it. So after it does not meet this requirement, x is not equal to thir is not smaller than thirty, it will jump to outside the outside of the block of code. And we can do this by saying I am out of the block the while block. Okay, let's call it the while block. Okay. Now what do we do now? Currently, x is 0. This will loop infinitely, okay? Because x is always equal to 30, okay? It says system output line, hello buddy. Goes again. Oh, is it true? Yes, it's true, system output line. Hello buddy. Is it true again? Okay, this is going to do an infinite loop, and I'll show you. Hopefully my computer will not crash. So, it, as you can see, it's... Look at this scroll bar is going really small, and it's eating away. No, it's not. Yeah, it's eating away some memory, and we need to stop this right now. So, yeah, we stop it. Okay, can't do that. It's gonna, it's gonna crash our computer and eat away a lot of memory. So, what exactly do we want to do? What we want to do is, let's say, x plus one but you can't do that okay because x plus one okay well what well, okay you plus one right you had to do x equals x plus one so that's uh, some math people will get complainers says that's freaking wrong don't do that but this is programming and you have to do it like this so now what do you think will print out okay think I'm going to change this code. I'm going to say x index of x. Okay? And remember how I taught you these things? Okay? Index of x. Okay, what do you think will print? Alright? Think. Okay, finish thinking. I'm going to run it, and I'm going to show you what happens, and I'll explain to you what happened. Okay, as you can see, it runs this, 0, to 29 and then it says I am out of the while block alright <clears throat> index of X okay 
a checks is while okay is x smaller than 30 yes it's smaller than 30 great i love you run this code print index of x which is zero and after that we plus one okay so now x is one right so oh x is is one smaller than 30 yes print this okay then plus one now it's x is equal to two right okay it's too small than 30. Yes! Okay? It keeps repeating this until it gets to 29. Because it's 29. Is x smaller than 29? And is 29 smaller than 30? Yes! It's smaller than 29. Run the code. And when it gets to... Thir is 30 smaller than 30? It isn't. It's equal to 30. It's not smaller than 30. So, we get out of the while block. And go here and say, I am out of the while block. Alright? This is a simple while, while loop, and this is probably the simplest loop you will ever do in your life. And I like to add a little bit of small stuff here. Remember the last video when I explained the plus plus? Yeah. This is the lazy version of typing x equals x plus 1. Just do x plus plus. Basically means it, it that's an incremental operator. It increments it by 1. And there's a decremental that okay so that's a little nice lazy touch to the thing and you may be wondering oh this is so inconvenient you have to read this it's like x is somewhere than 30 but it'll only run 29 times so what do you do you can do x equals to 30 and I'm gonna probably change this to 5 cuz I don't want to read everything for you and it runs five times. And why is that? Okay, zero. Is it smaller or equal to five? Yes, it's smaller than five, but it's not equal. But then it's an or, okay? Run. Is one smaller or equal to five? Yes, run. Okay, it gets to four. Is x is four smaller and equal to five? Yes. Is x small smaller? No, is five smaller? Or equal to 5. Yes, of course, it's equal to 5. So, yeah, we'll print that. 6, finally. It does not meet that requirement, and it skips over the block and runs. I am out of the while block. So, thank you for watching this uh, while loop in depth tutorial, and I hope you liked it. Hope you learned something. Smack that like button with your hand, with your any part of your body part. Any part. And, uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button too, and see you guys next time.